We all know the Smith & Wesson M&P has been around for ages and ages and ages, come in multiple calibers and a bunch of variations and blah, blah, blah. So what could they possibly do to make this gun more relevant today and exciting and new and fresh? How about make it out of metal? Smith & Wesson M&P 9 M2.0 metal. That's right, metal. Very cool. Let's check this thing out. Hey, welcome back to the Wolf of Love channel, everyone. A place where we discuss general gun and shooting topics. We do all make a model gun reviews, gear reviews, gadget reviews, and talk about competitive shooting. Thank you for checking out this video. We appreciate it. Today, we've got this thing. Smith & Wesson M&P 9 M2.0 Metal. That's right, metal. Man, this is uh, pretty exciting. So, as always, safety first. Check that out. Take the mag out. As you can see, there's no magazine. Chamber is clear. Magazine is empty. And we are safe. So, there you go, folks. M2.0 metal. 9 millimeter metal framed striker fire gun. Very exciting. Very cool. So we all know that the M&P has been around for a number of years. Actually, at the time of this video, I think it's almost 20 years at this point. And it has come in a variety of calibers. Everything from 22 up to recently 10 millimeter with some 40 and 357 SIG and all those other calibers mixed in. And has proven to be an uh, ultra-reliable, dependable, durable firearm that has seen service all over the world in military, law enforcement, etc. Other operators. Uh, which is pretty pretty darn cool and says a lot about the firearm. So, you know, when when I first heard new m and I'm like, well, what could they possibly do? And then came this thing, man. And I'm going to tell you that the video, the pictures, they just do not do this gun justice. They don't because this thing is gorgeous. This Cerakote gray finish that they chose is absolutely beautiful. This is a great looking firearm. Uh, as you can tell, I'm pretty excited. This has been a good one, man. This has been, it's been a, a bit since I've been able to review a gun that uh, had me this excited. And, and from the very first look, I was pretty excited. So as always, we're going to take an up close look at this thing on a tabletop, show you some of the features of this thing, what it comes with and all that stuff. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about it some more. So stand by. Let's check this thing out. You're going to want to see it. All right, folks, here we are. The Smith & Wesson M&P 9 M2.0 Metal. That's right, metal. Very cool. Okie dokie. As always, safety first. No mag in the gun. Chamber is empty. Magazine is empty. We are safe. So there it is. How about that? It's a good-looking firearm. Okay, starting at the grip. Got a little bit of an integrated magwell here. That's pretty cool. This little doohickey here on the bottom, you simply turn, slide the pin out, and then you can change the uh, palm swell slash backstrap modules. These are super cool. We're going to talk about these a little bit more as we move on in this review. So I'm not going to dig into it now, but man, I'm a, I'm a big, big, big fan. Front strap has an enormous amount of texture on the front. Uh, try to give you an up close to that thing. It is very, very, very grippy. Very cool there. Trigger guard, fairly generous trigger guard, slight undercut on the bottom of that. Mag release, well positioned, uh, excellent position, and that is swappable for our left-handed brothers and sisters. So that is pretty cool. Got our takedown lever here. Very easy to use. Pretty standard uh, slide lock right here. Um, yeah, very easy. It's it's kind of cut into the frame, little recess there, so um, get around that thing a bit. It's pretty cool. On the slide, we have got texture front and rear. It's not an enormous amount of texture, um, but there are there is some pretty cool texture there, both front and rear serrations um, that you can get a you can get a pretty good grip on those. Not bad at all. Moving up to the top of the gun. We have a very standard three-dot steel sight set on this thing. Uh, don't love the sights. It's just a basic three-dot setup, but something we're all used to. I think the assumption is 
that most people will put an optic on it. And that's right, this gun is optic ready. So that is pretty cool. And we're gonna dig into that a little bit more because Smith & Wesson gives you a lot of value as far as this optic cut goes. And I will explain more in a moment. Uh, got our pick rail on the bottom for your light or laser or whatever floats your boat. So there you go. No external safety. Uh, of course, everyone is going to want to know about the trigger. Again, we are safe. So let's take a look at the trigger. There is your pre-travel. Okay. Break. Reset. Right there. Break. Reset. Very good trigger. Uh, a fair amount of pre-travel, but I think for the intended purposes of this gun, that's probably a good thing. We will discuss that a little bit more. But again, there you go. Very cool. Not bad at all. There it is. Man, that's a good looking firearm. All right, let me show you what's in the box real quick. In the box, we get the obligatory owner's manual, which we're going to actually talk about a little bit. And people are like, well, you want to talk about the manual? There's some cool stuff in here. So we're going to get into that in a moment. We have got our additional 17 round mag. So the gun comes with two 17 round magazines, um, normal Smith and Wesson stuff, nothing fancy, but very functional. And yeah, you get two of those. In addition, Optics plates. That's right. You do not have to mail away or send away or go on the old interweb and get your optics plates. They come in the box along with sets of screws. We are also going to talk about this a little further. So I'm going to make you wait and we'll talk about those in a bit. Here are our interchangeable backstrap slash palm swell modules. You get four options with this firearm. Four. That's right. Four options to personalize this firearm. And that is pretty sweet. So we'll talk about that again in a second. Of course, safety lock and other accoutrements. So there you have it, folks. Smith & Wesson M&P 9 M2.0 metal. Very cool. So you've seen it up close. And it sure is pretty, pretty. Um, next question. Obviously, how does it shoot? But man, it's... It's a metal framed MNP, folks, and uh, it shoots exceptionally well. This is a well crafted, well thought out, comfortable firearm that's super easy to shoot. You are going to like this gun. I like this gun a lot. Uh, as I show you some of the video from the range, really, really stood out as an absolute terrific shooter. Absolute. The trigger. As I showed you in the up close uh, look at this gun, the trigger, the take up on the gun on the triggers may seem a little bit long, right? But for the intended purpose of this firearm, I think that's probably perfect. And we're going to talk about what I think this gun's for and who it's for in a few minutes. But uh, man, it it absolutely it's very responsive, and and the firearm gives you a, a lot of feedback. It, you know where you stand with this gun, man, and it just feels really good to shoot. So yeah, a pretty spectacular shooter. Let me tell you some of my favorite things about this firearm. Starting with these interchangeable grip module backstrap palm swell thingamabobbies, and that is not the official term, so I apologize, Smith & Wesson, if you see that. Um, this, this system is absolutely amazing. So in the box, and I showed you up close, but... You get four of these interchangeable deals for this firearm, which allows you to really customize the fit, which is pretty awesome. Now, I love interchangeable backstraps and some of my favorite firearms. Some of you know what they are. They have backstraps. I typically use the large because of my giant paws, and I'm happy. This thing, what this gives you is some palm swell, which you don't get with just a backstrap, right? And I'm going to show you a picture side by side of the small and the large grips on this gun. So you can get a, a feel for how different they are. It's very different and it, it feels amazing. In addition to these, these grip panels being so good, they are super 
easy to change. It is as simple as this little doohickey right here. You turn it, you pop the pin out. This comes right off. You slap the other one on, pop the pin back on. You're good to go. No tools necessary. No pins to knock out. Those systems work fine, but if you're at the range and you really want to customize while you're shooting, it's kind of a pain. This makes it really, really easy. Yes, really easy. Pretty darn amazing. The feel of the gun overall, by the time you get that back strap on there that you want with that right palm swell with this amazing texture on the front, it feels great in the hand. Okay, so the optic mounting system on this gun, right? I showed you in the up close. This is optic cut, optic ready. In addition to that, they give you the plates. This is a bag of plates right here. And I said bag of plates because you does anybody want to guess how many is in? They give you seven optic mounting plates for this firearm. Seven. I'm pretty sure this covers 99% of the, the red dot optics that are out there that you would want to mount on a, a handgun. And that's pretty awesome. And they also give you the screws. But wait, there's more. In the manual, yes, I am a huge dork that loves to read instruction manuals. There is this super cool chart. I'm going to show you an, uh, a picture of it up close. This chart gives you uh, uh, which optic plate to use with which, which optic mounting footprint and which screw types to use because they also gave you the screws. They are also in this bag with all the plates, all these different screws. So how sweet is that chart, man? It takes all of the guesswork out of the, the optic mounting, man. I think that is an amazing feature. This is a end user friendly feature that we don't see enough of in the firearms community. I think that's pretty darn terrific. That's pretty cool, especially for people like me that aren't that smart. So yeah, that's the optic mounting system. It's going to be pretty sweet to put an optic on this gun. I like to be honest in all my reviews. I've always been a thousand percent honest with you. Things I like, things I don't like. I've told you a bunch of things that I like on this, this firearm, uh, which is most things, right? So if I'm being completely honest, I don't love the sights. Okay, but they are steel, but they're just a standard three-dot sight. <laughs> so look, I'm digging into weeds to find the stuff that I don't like about it. But that that's one thing. I don't like the three-dot sights, but that's easy enough to change. And most people will probably put a red dot on it anyway. So I'm not sure how relevant that is. The only other thing that I could maybe say is the texture on this firearm. The, the serrations on the slide, they're... They're great for carry because they're not going to snag on anything. And they are fairly easy to get a hold of. But I would like to see a little more. Again, I'm getting into weeds, folks. So I'm not over judging the gun. That is a very, very minor detail that maybe I don't love. Yeah. So what is this gun for? Well, it's probably an easier question to say, what, what is it not for, right? Whether it be daily carry conceal carry, home protection, duty pistol, service pistol, uh, range toy. I'm not sure that there's much that this gun, this there's many needs that this gun wouldn't fulfill. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of stuff. And people are curious about the size. The Smith & Wesson calls this full size. Uh, here's the interesting thing. If we talk a little bit about what the, uh, the measurements are on this gun. So it's 7.4 inches long. So what does that compare to? Well, it's the same length as a Glock 19, pretty close, really close to the length of a Glock 19. If we talk about the height, so it's 5.5 inches high. That is roughly the height of Glock 17. So this gun kind of fits in the middle. And barrel length on this firearm is 4.25, which is in between the 19 and the 17 if we're comparing it to a Glock. So the size is really interesting. Aluminum frame, stainless steel slide, it gives us a weight of 30 ounces. So in comparison, if we want to talk about the, the Glock 19, comes in at 23.6, the Glock 17 is 24.8. So roughly five and a half or six, inch, six ounces uh, heavier than uh, Glock 17, but, uh, but it's not an uncomfortable gun to carry. You could certainly carry this gun all day and, and be pretty darn comfortable. So yeah. So price, what does this gun sell for? MSRP is $899, and currently, at the time of this video, that's what most of these seem to be selling for, is right around the $899. Um, do I think it's worth the money? 
Yes, absolutely. So the obvious next question is, hey man, do you like this gun? I think you can already answer that. I like this gun a lot, a lot. Uh, this has been, this is pretty awesome. I like this gun a whole lot. Oh, wait, there is more. Okay, so as much as I like this gun, again, I said earlier that I like to read instruction manuals because I'm a huge dork and that's okay. There is another version of this gun apparently on the way. And there it is on the main, on the front of the instruction manual. And I'm going to show you an up close look at that called the Performance Center MMP9 M2.0 Competitor. That's right. It looks like maybe another half inch long, uh, fiber optic front sight magwell. Uh, I got really excited about this. And this is the advantage of reading the manuals, folks, as a, in addition to all the safety stuff. Uh, but there are some competitor version specific instructions in the manual which is pretty awesome so i as as excited as i am about this one i can't wait for that gun to come out uh now i have looked and and tried to do some homework there's very little information out there about this competitor version of this handgun <clears throat> but it's coming it's got to be right they put it right there on the manual so listen smith and wesson if you're watching i got to have one Please send this to me. I'll review it and, and maybe keep it. I, I mean, I'll send it back if you want. Anyway, um, I'm being goofy, but <clears throat> as much as I like this firearm, I can only imagine the, this gun with a little longer uh, sight radius, those fiber optic sights. I am very excited about the competitor model of this gun. So that's what I have for you folks. The MMP M2.0 metal, do I like it? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm, I'm starting to build a love affair with this firearm. I like it a lot. And I know, I know most people that pick up this gun are going to like this gun. So go check it out. I think you're going to dig it. Yeah, so that's it. That's all I have for you. That's the review. Hopefully you liked this review. If you did, please hit the like button and hit us up with some comments. Let us know why. I appreciate you watching. Uh, if you haven't already, I beg of you, please subscribe. Uh, we are continuing to grow, and that's awesome. And it's thanks to all of you. Thank you so much. Uh, if you didn't like this video, I apologize. Hit me up. Let me know why, and maybe we can fix it. So I'll be back with some exciting stuff soon. Until then, thank you again for the support, and I'll see you real soon. See you.